what is up leo so this is your horoscope forecast okay for um the first of march until the 16th so i'm going to pull one main energy here for my new deck Ooh, wow. okay let's see what it is all right leo we have the three of swords we have heartache we have pain um, we have sorrow. This card is wicked. It has so much in it. It has so many graphics. It is, um, someone had been lying to you. Um, you know, you know that they lied to you. Um, and it puts you in a place of, of, darkness of sadness of grief okay okay so this is for leo 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 is a fire sign it's also a fixed sign. That means it's in the middle of a summer. It's in August. It's in the middle of the season. What's up with Leo? Spirit guides, guardian angels. What is the message for Leo? We have heartache here. Let's see what's going on. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Death card, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, there you are, Le uh, Leo, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Hermit which is card of Virgo. We have card of Scor Scorpio showing as well. We have air sign Cancer here. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Definitely water sign showing up. Seven of Wands. Okay, so with the Three of Swords here, So there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of pain here, okay? Um, and you're aware of this with the Ace of Swords here. You're totally aware of this. You withdraw from you withdraw from the situation as the Hermit card here. You step back from the situation because there was heartache. Um, there was a breakup possibly, okay? You removed yourself. It was plain as day. You've seen it for what it was. You've seen it with the sun. The sun is like the biggest flashlight you could ever have. It was like, you know, you didn't have to look very far. It was right in front of your face, okay? So, you know, you made an ending to it. You definitely end it um, within... Uh, you definitely, the death card is here. You ended it. You could have ended it with a Scorpio or um, a Cancer, but I definitely feel like you ended it and now you're facing your fears. This is your emotions. It's not your fears. It's your emotions that are be, uh, that is being brought up. That's why you're going within, okay? Um, you're going within because you have this awareness that this person um, possibly... Um, broke up with you okay they broke up with you but not only did they break up with you but um it's like you cut this off with them okay for whatever reason um leo um you're showing up here as the strength card here um having strength behind the fact that you know you had to make an ending um towards this person um because I feel like they hurt you or they broke up with you. They lied to you. And uh, you know this, okay? Um, the foundation just was not strong enough to keep it together. It fell down. There was, it was always questioning 
um, this person questioning, questioning, questioning. Um, this person cannot look you in the face, Leo. Okay, so what's helping you? Well, for one thing, um, you're taking action. Okay, um, there is definitely a new love starting here, but this Ace of Cups comes with the condition you have to release the past. You know, you you can't bring a baggage with you of um, that that ex. You have to release your ex release the feelings so that this new love can come in and so that you can um, control it, not only control it, but maintain it because this person is very committed. This could definitely be a soulmate, Leo, that is coming in here. Uh, could be a twin flame, could be someone very extraordinary, um, fixated on you are you on them you know um, very loving very caring you guys have a lot of stuff in common um, a lot of things to talk about you could stay up for hours talking on the phone um, so that's really what's helping you now this person is really helping you get through this breakup as well they could be listening to you but um, what's challenging is you know it's like you have to make a decision here. It's like, you know, you're, you're, you're ready. You're ready to start something new here. Um, with the page of swords, this is a message coming through. It could be a message of, it could be a hurtful message, a message that you have to make a decision. Okay. Um, with this king of wands here. So this is definitely Leo energy. Um, that's showing up here. You're going to have to make a decision. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Um, but I'm definitely seeing that there is a new beginning here and you are totally aware of this and there is a sun card that definitely brings this love relationship out. Okay. Um, but you have to end something from the past as well. There's something or this person could have ended it from the past. Um, but I'm definitely seeing this is a new person okay a new person coming in and um, you're needing that peace of mind um, to go within uh, to face your fears and to make a decision based on um, a divine masculine or based on uh, taking action with someone okay so I still feel this energy of you know you're being guarded you're not letting anybody in your heart you um you've been through enough you know you're you're healing from heartache okay um but you're also being very successful with that so just remember that you're very successful with that you will receive this abundance this um, this emotional abundance from the ace of cups from this soulmate let's see what's on the bottom here you're the high priestess so um you're very intuitive leo this week uh the high priestess is with you um there's secrets to be told there's knowledge to be revealed go within listen to your dreams meditate and um seek within and take action as well okay because um there is definitely something starting up here okay um spirit guides guardian angels can we have some cards for leo fire sign this is a thick sign as well what's going on with leo Pay attention to the red flags. Um, the signs are cautioning you. So, um, on the bottom of, of the deck, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your from your usual type and expectations. So the the signs are cautioning you. There is definitely synchronicities coming your way. Okay. Um, and definitely with the Ace of Cups here, um, I feel like this energy is coming on strong. It's coming on, um, a high point as well. Um, let's see. It's saying express your love. Don't hold yourself back because of someone who's not giving themselves to you. 
Pay attention to what's going on around you. Be in the here and now, okay? There's signs, synchronicities um, that are telling you that um, it's time to move on. It's time to let your guard down from your heart and open yourself up to new love, okay? Um, that's just life. That's just how it goes, okay? Um, but don't, you know, close yourself off too much with the Hermit card here. It's because you don't want to become this Hermit Leo, okay? You really want to get out there and, um, you know, I'm sure this isn't your first go around. Let's pull one more card. Release your ex. You have to release the ex so that you can express your love. Pay attention. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Um, there's synchronicities that are telling you, you know, that it's time to move on. Stop holding in this one position, in this hermit position, um, in this fear position. There's love here. There's abundance, okay? Um, and I feel like you are taking action, but you have to release this X here. You have to release the X. And it will take time, but as long as you set your intentions, you will release it, okay? So, let's pull some Lenormand cards here and see what you can expect, Leo. Okay, so there's definitely a Divine Feminine here. Um, you could be meeting up with in um, a community place here. Uh, you could be meeting a new person here um, in a garden. This is in the community. Um, so I feel like if you're a Divine Feminine watching this, you could definitely be meeting up with someone within your community at a restaurant, at a park, at the mall. And um, you're definitely going to have to look closely at this person, okay? Um, see what this person is about because the magnifying glass is really about bringing something to light, okay? Um, because this person, let, let's see what this magnifying glass is about here. I feel like um, you're definitely going to have to look deep within, okay, because this person, um, or it could definitely represent you, you know, um, has been in solitude here with the tower. <clears throat> and um, let's see. There's definitely resources here, okay, um, to that you, you will find out, okay, within time, there's going to be resources to get your mind right, you know, it's like, um, I feel like, um, with this card here, it's like, you know, being pulled in two different, three different directions, and so you have to really look at which direction you want to go, and, um, see which one flows the best for you, okay, and, um, you know, really stick to that and build on that and make it strong like this tower right here, okay? Um, but definitely, I feel like there is this Divine Feminine is um, in a garden that's meeting up with somebody, okay? Um, this person could be definitely lying about what they do about their job. Okay, so look closely at how they speak to you and what they tell you. Okay, Leo, because there's something here that s signifies that, um, you know, they're not telling the truth. They're wearing a mask here. They could be lying about how much money they make or where they work at or what corporation they work at. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so thank you for watching this. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, Leo. And I will see you next. Uh, let's see. I will see you... Around the 18th.